New help tonight if your cell phone is lost or stolen. There are some apps available now that will help you track down the thief and will even show you mm. what that person looks like. Mm -hmm. Here's our consumer reporter, Kristen Miranda, to explain all that. Yeah, all one, ears. Of, <laughs> one of our photographers here at the station actually told me about one of these apps that he's using on his phone. It's an extra layer of security in case you become one of the millions of people who have ever lost a phone or had one stolen. We've all done it at least once, left our phone somewhere or set it down for just a second and before you know it, it's gone. So the thing that always scares me is if someone got a hold of that, I mean they would have access to everything, you know, different accounts that I have, my bank account, um, things of that nature. Thanks to technology, tracking down a potential thief has gotten easier. It's not foolproof, but I love the idea of this app. Apps that go a little further than the Find My Phone programs. You load the app on the phone, one of them is actually free, they're low cost apps. You set up the settings the way you want them to be, set up a privacy code, and if somebody picks up the phone and types in that privacy code and it's wrong. The app signals the phone to take a picture of that person and then emails you that picture along with a geolocation of the phone. Parents know most times you'll probably end up with a picture of your toddler who's trying to get into your phone when you weren't around. But if not, if it is a real thief. Yeah, that would be awesome actually. And pretty funny to see who would be the person who picked it up. She'd almost like to see it take another next step. Maybe send a text to the phone saying, we found you. Mm -hmm. It's important to say, once you find out where your phone is, don't go chasing after it yourself. Let police know they can do the detective work for you. All right, your word of the week is catfishing. There's a show on MTV dedicated to it, and we are hearing more about it. Manti Teo's girlfriend hoax. It's when someone lures you into a phony online relationship using social networking sites. The goal is, is to make you feel very connected to the other person. And so there's pictures, sometimes there's even videos, and then you have the messaging back and forth. And so it seems very convincing that this pleasant person that you're looking at that's conversing with you online is who they say they are. Mm. Yeah, you have to be really careful. Talking about those apps, there's more information on some of the different apps that are out there. It's on the Protecting Your CyberTurf page at WBTV.com right now. And some